Praise the Lord and a wonderful, wonderful afternoon to all our cherished viewers. I'm so excited to be here again. We are looking at the preview of Give Thyself Holy Conference 2020 that is happening from 25th to the 28th of August this year. And uh, we are prepping. We are so excited that this conference is coming on. Today, I have a very special, distinguished man of God, the chairman of the Lighthouse Chapel um, International Headquarters and uh, the Bishop of the Way Cathedral all the way in Ayawaso. He's going to tell us very fantastic things that when you hear, you would have no option than to be part of this year's Give Thyself um, conference. Um, as I told you, from the 25th to the 26th, 25th to the 28th of August. And so, ladies and gentlemen, I would like you to help me and let's welcome um, this afternoon on our platform, the Bishop Stephen O. Asari. Bishop, Bishop you are welcome this afternoon. Thank you very much. Bishop, I'm so excited that out of your busy schedule, you made time to be with us this afternoon here. It's and good to be here. Good to have yes. me and thank you for the invitation. Yes. And I believe everybody will be blessed. Yes, I yeah. believe strongly. Bishop, um, Give Thyself Holy Conference um, has come to stay and has come a very long way. Um, just before this um, interview, um, you were telling me about when it all began. I would really like you to tell us about Give Thyself Holy conference right from its inception how you have seen this conference evolving and how you have seen many pastors being blessed yes. yeah thank you um give thyself holy conference previously known as uh, I ion is. sharpness yes I ion. I ion. I -I. yes yes um it's a conference that it has been around i remember the first one mm. was in 1994. Wow at the University of Ghana, um, the prophet Bishop Dagiwad Mills, mm. also an apostle of the Lord yes. into church planting, mm. church growth, yes. and church work. Mm. Um, I would say before that time had been ministering to us, that is those of us in the then lighthouse. All right. mm. And a time came, I remember when he said that God had led him to minister to pastors outside right. of our denomination. Okay. So this first program, I remember the theme was significant wow. at Legon and was very, very powerful. I mean, talking about different people in the Bible. Mm. As I always remember Genesis going from one person to the, the other, other till he came to Genesis chapter 11, 12, when mm. Abraham came Abraham. up. Mm. Then the story about all the people stopped and yes. everything was about Abraham, Abraham for so, so many, many chapters. chapters. Yes. Mm. All the people who live very long, like Methuselah yes. and things, it was just one verse, uh, one verse or two, two verses, verses about them. them and yes. they are gone. So mm. I can remember because mm. it made me understand that mm. the ministry is not also just about being in a little corner. Mm and doing something and uh, being happy with yourself. Yes. But there is more to it mm. than whatever you are doing and it can grow. You can become significant wow. in the ministry. Yes. So from that time, it had continued um, and grown mm. from stage to stage and um, now has become very international yes. because I, th I think that year after year you mm. see more people yes. traveling from different places mm -hmm. chattering uh, uh, planes to come to and come. to be yes. in the conference so mm. it's experience a lot of growth mm. and anything that grows like that yes. also tells you mm. that it is having mm. great impact yes. on lives mm. and on people and on their ministry yes. that is why People will keep coming yes. and people will keep flying and paying, you know, whatever it, it, costs, it costs just to be in Ghana, to yes. be in Accra, mm. forgive thyself, yes. holy conference. So mm. I believe in our generation, yes. it is the conference that has 
um, come to revive ministers and bring life into churches and bring strength and growth in every area of ministry. Yes. Yeah. Wow. You know, when, when you were talking about um, the price that pastors have to pay, yes. you know, no matter how much it costs to be present, I just remembered um, a story I heard from um, a pastor from Congo just this week, how um, some few years back, they organized themselves 80, 80 pastors, and then they took a, a, a whole plane, even though they didn't shatter, they took the plane, it got to Benin, and then disembarked, got into a car, and then a bus drove all the way to Ghana, Ghana. Wow. just to listen to the man of God. Yeah. You know, and um, Bishop Steve, do, do you um, remember um, some of the different atmospheres during the conferences when the man of God is teaching um, at a point in time? Do you, do you have any... Um, um, do you re remember any of those times as he's teaching on some of his favorite um, um, subjects? Yeah. How the atmosphere, you know, is as he's teaching and what we should expect this year as he teaches um, the, the word of God. Yes. Mm. Um, atmosphere. Yes. You know, mm. this conference when you sit down in the morning. Yes. <laughs> and this time it's early in the morning. Early in the morning. Yes. You are on, now it's 4 a.m. to yes, 12. To 12, yes. You know, those uh, earlier on, maybe 6 a.m. Yes. And then it continues. People mm. get surprised when they come because mm. many conferences, you do maybe two hours, two hours you get a break, break then you get some lunch and yes. go and sleep a little, come in, come in the, the afternoon. afternoon. But yes. this is something that mm. is continuing. Yes. But the atmosphere is said that you wouldn't even want to miss a time of going to use the washroom. Wow. Because by the time you come back in five minutes or mm. ten minutes, yes. you know that you would have lost mm. a lot. Yes. Um, everybody is alive, people are alive, people are attentive throughout because the, the, the message that is being taught, if you are a minister, unless maybe you are not interested in the ministry, you just came for fanfare in Accra, but if you are a minister, it, you'll be captivated, you'll be on and on, you don't even feel that you have been there for so many hours. And you can also see it from responses. I remember, um, I don't remember which year in particular, but mm. Bishop was teaching on um, leadership. Yes. I remember that one very well. And mm. he was on his book, The Wisdom of mm. a Serpent. Wow. And teaching about different skills of the mm. serpent, his flexibility, his mm. ability to do you turn this yes. way. Um, is um, um, different things yes. and you know a big conference um, I think this was at the Kodesh mm. so many people and nobody was sitting down wow. everybody is standing, standing and everybody is just flowing mm. in the message yes. you know so receiving the message the substance of the message mm. is one thing yes. but I believe that everybody who participate in it yes. also is affected mm. by this kind of atmosphere yes. because you go to other places everybody will just be sitting mm. coolly mm. and in that case even when you speak for one hour it feels like five so, hours you have yes. to stop yeah. you know so the atmosphere itself carries some anointing mm. that affects you yes. apart from the message you know that comes and people Sometimes after a session, many mm. times, yes. going to kneel at the, the altar, the, the altar. stage, yes. yes, and praying, right. it is break time. Mm. Maybe they have to go, go and take rest a little and rest mm. and come back, but no, they mm. will not go because mm. they have so much been affected by what is going on. They can't mm. even get out of the hall. Mm. Kneeling over there, praying, mm. if there's some oil to 
touch around yes. or something. Mm -hmm. And it's all in a bid to mm -hmm. really get something and never miss mm -hmm. anything out of the conference. Like yes. I've traveled, mm -hmm. I've come, mm -hmm. or I've received such a, or I've even seen yes. what is going on in the place, that, mm -hmm. what the man of God is teaching. Mm -hmm. And you can see that he's not just saying something. something. Even mm -hmm. the environment you are you in, are in. You can see from the organization, from yes. the buildings, from the infrastructure and yes. everything, you know that, look, this man is talking about something that he has done. Yes. And therefore, it's possible to do. Mm. So I believe everybody is just trying to fish out something, get yes. something, touch something, receive something, and go back with it. And for me, every... Um, uh, give thyself holy conference yes. really moves me mm. into another realm. Yes. It's like by the time it's finished mm. in my notebook, mm. I have things that I've written down. Wow. I'm going to do this. Mm. I'm going to, and I myself, yes. I'm very revived mm. and I'm going out with fire yes. to do other things. So mm. it always ends with me going to start some things and start some new things. Wow. Yeah. And I believe for many people, yes. it's like that. Mm. That's why so many people want it. Yes. And they will come. They will come. And so they will join. Yes. And they will receive it. Yes. Yes. In fact, Bishop, I always remember the last days. Yes. When um, the prophet will say, this is our last session. Yes. And then from here, we are going to close. The, the, the feeling is, it, we've been there for four days. Yes. But when it suddenly dawns on us that this is the last session, this is not feeling of everybody sad. Yes. We wish we could stay longer. It's like we haven't had enough. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and you, you made mention of how the servant of God, the prophets, can start teaching. And you don't, you, nothing moves you to get up. Yeah. To go and we, we, we want to go out there. We've had, I mean, we've seen conferences. You know, one hour, first speaker, one hour, second speaker, one hour. But we are talking about a man of God yes. who has been anointed specially yes. for this thing. So I want us to talk about the, the, the convener, the, the, the man, the set man yes. for the conference, Bishop Doug Ward Mills. He, I, will not, I will not even ask if he is worth hearing. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ask. I will not ask, yes. but I would, would ask you to um, talk to us about Bishop Doug Heward Mills and why this year everyone watching us must endeavor to connect themselves to this conference. Yes. Yes. Um, Bishop Doug Heward Mills, um, like I said earlier, is somebody obviously called of god yes obviously heavily mm. anointed the, the evidence is the is, evidence is, is there clear. i mean it's so obvious mm. i don't know what you want to mm. see yes or to know mm. and um what he's teaching yes. as i said earlier he's only demonstrating mm. or rather teaching what he has what done, he's already. done already mm. Do, 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 yes. do you get it? Mm. If he's teaching about mm. church growth, yes. he has done church growth. Church growth. Mm. And like he will say it mm. even in the conference, yes. he started a church mm. in a classroom. Mm. I remember one of the conferences he was talking about how he started and how he was encouraging people that mm. if you are in a classroom, yes. don't be, be encouraged and yes. believe that mm. you can come out of that classroom yes. and do a great ministry. Yes. And I, rem I can hear the voice. Mm. My church started in a classroom. Mm. My church started in a classroom. My church started. He kept emphasizing, emphasizing that. In a classroom. In a classroom. Yes. So the man started in a classroom. It's, it's unbelievable. To a canteen. Mm. And then to a, what's the word? Uh, uh, a building uh, that uh, has uh, run uh, down uh, somewhere. Uh, okay, abandoned. Abandoned. Building that nobody cares yes. to take and use for anything. And he goes for that building. He goes for that building. Mm. And begins, not mm. begins, continues, continues. something that yes. was not known. Mm. And then 
from that place in the yes. corner of the city somewhere. Mm. Yes. Churches now begin to come up. Come up. Branches here mm. in Ghana, mm. in many places. I remember one mm. time when we went, he took us to the gardens to go and pray. Okay. And he showed us a big tree. Wow. Always remember. Wow. With a lot of branches. Mm. And he said, this is how the church will become wow. one day. Wow. It's a big tree with a lot of branches. Because that time there was no branch. branch. Yes. Wow. And then branches started coming up. Mm. And today, mm. there are churches in over 90 countries yes. of the world. Yes with thousands of pastors, thousands of pastors. Uh, church buildings, mm. facilities for church work, church work. Bible school, yes. everything. Mm. And I'm sure um, whoever is listening, you can see or you have had a glimpse of mm. even his crusades. Yes. So when it comes to the evangelism, evangelism. side, yes. that's another thing. It's very loud and clear. Exactly so. Mm. So you see an apostle, mm. you see an evangelist, mm -hmm. you see a prophet. Yes. Who is a prophet? A prophet is somebody who mm. God has called to show the way yes. to the rest of the people. Yes. And that's what he is. Yes. You see a teacher mm. with books mm. and teachings yes. that many ministers are following. Mm. You see a pastor yes. who has trained people, mm. brought up people, and shepherding mm. thousands of people. Yes. So I think that the, the difference mm. with this man of God and the conference is that mm. the works mm. speak, speak very loud, mm. louder than any introduction that can be done mm. for, for him mm. to mount the stage. Yes. If Mm. Those who have been around before, if you came to Anakazo campus for the conference yes, and yes. once you drive up the mountains and if you enter, enter the, the place, oh. unless you can't see well, but if you can see, you'll just be overall yes. immediately mm. by what you see. Yes. And this is not, you know, something that was done years ago and handed over to him, him or something he has inherited. Mm. So it's a work that has been done mm. in his lifetime. Yes. If you are a pastor yeah. and you see this man of God, mm. I think what will come to you is that, Lord, mm. help me mm. to also do something, yes. even if I can't reach his level. Yes. Yes. Mm. To do something. something. So it encourages you to mm. want to do something greater yes. than you have done. Mm. Because many of us pastors, what do we do? We have one church yes. in one corner of the city. Yes. We have a few hundreds of people, even if we get 100 attending. Mm. Um, mm. We have a place to stay. We have a car to a drive. Car. And it's like life is okay. Yes. But this man of God will tell you that it's not okay. You can carry this thing mm. to a higher level and you can do more. You can do mm. greater things. Mm. So why would, again, people be traveling yes. and even this year, I'm sure a lot of people mm. will be disappointed. Yes. That's, but that's the cool. new way yes. we are going to do it is also another opportunity yes. to even get it further. But mm. people were looking forward to travel to, to come. Accra and yes. come yes. and be here. It's a pilgrimage. Yes. For some, it's a pilgrimage. I talked right. to some of the pastors. <laughs> the pastors yes. So last year we were... Uh, maybe 10 people, but this time we are coming with, we are preparing maybe 30 or 40 people to come. Oh. They come with a few people and then the next year they want to come with everybody. Yes. Because they want everybody mm. to hear yes. and to know. Yes. So the man of God mm. is an anointed man yes. for our generation mm. and our time. Yeah. And he is a demonstration mm of what ministry mm. can be for everybody who is willing. Yes. That's why it's important. I don't think we, 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 have, we overemphasize anything, but mm. then when you come, just like you said, yes. even when you have sat in for so many hours yes. and the conference is ending, it's like you are sad. Yes. You want more, yes. although you've been sitting down for hours, hours. on end. Mm. So this is an anointed person, yes. a man for our time, mm. a man for our generation, mm. for church building, for 
ministry work of any kind, whether you are evangelist, whether yes. you are a pastor, whether mm -hmm. you are an apostle, whether you are a teacher, whether you are a prophet, this is the conference yes. that will really equip you mm -hmm. to do what you have to do. Talk to any person who has been before mm -hmm. and you say, Look, Bishop Steve, you are talking too much. Yeah. <laughs> I've learned from people who have come here, so mm -hmm. all that you are saying is just too much. I know it. Yes. And you know that mm -hmm. this is where you have to be. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Bishop Steve, um, during the conference, yes. Bishop Doug, um, he, he, he teaches on special topics. Yes. Um, his topics are, are unusual because, I mean, there are so many conferences in the world. Yeah. Um, people attend different conferences. You go to conferences, you hear um, some things that, okay, this one I know how it's going to be like. But Bishop Dagi Ward Mills has been anointed by God to handle some topics. Yes. He is the best person to talk about those topics. Yes. And over the years, we've seen um, different ways that he has even preached from his books that he has written yes the books that we have seen we've read but sometimes he'll be holding the book and teaching from the book and everyone is wondering wow we didn't see this parts we didn't see this in the book and so i believe strongly we have um his teachings on the anointing yes his teachings on um leadership different things that he talks yes. about this year we are we are in so much anticipation we don't know where the wind will be blowing but i want i, I, I would like you to um, shed some light on some of the topics that he has taught during give thyself you know give thyself holy conference that uh, have blessed you so much and would like to um, tell some other people watching you know um, what they should expect this year when it comes to those topics that he teaches on. Yes. Yes, like you rightly said, it's a conference for ministry. Yes. And the topics he teaches on mm -hmm. are unique. Unique. I know sometimes he will announce that <laughs> this, this is conference. a conference for pastors, for pastors. <laughs> <laughs> and for church leaders, uh, yes. and it is for church, for work. church work. So if you didn't know, and, and you expected something here. maybe on prosperity yes. conference and things, yes. Yes. you can, can go, go to, to town. There's another, another conference, conference. There that they are teaching yes. on those things. So these are mm. very unique subjects, like you mentioned um, on ministry, teaches on the anointing, teaches on leadership, teaches powerfully on loyalty mm. um, which I, I I think that if we are talking about even the subject of loyalty yes. we have to give it <laughs> him a, a, a right yes. it's a special copyright <laughs> a copyright for loyalty, for loyalty yeah, because you mention loyalty exactly you so <laughs> you have to say that you have to mention have Bishop Daguerre Mills and yes. quote it direct yes. from his book. <laughs> mm. You know, one day I had somebody preaching, I think, on radio. Yes. And I saw that this person, he has got the message of loyalty. Because he was teaching on, I think, the seven mm. stages wow. of this loyalty. Somebody I've never heard of, like a pastor outside, 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 wow. outside Africa or wow. something like that. Hey. And I said, wow this thing has traveled fast so these are on church growth yes. on church planting mm. and so on so these are unique wow. teachings it's exa exactly what a pastor needs this is what a pastor needs yes. on prayer mm. i mean if he moves to prayer yes. it's another thing mm. i remember i think it was last year's conference mm. um or two years that he was talking about honoring yes. honoring the man of god mm. and all those things and all these things are towards building a ministry yes. he teaches on church planting mm. very powerfully yes. and um i will say that personally mm. it's had a lot of effect on me because I mean, listening, flowing, mm -hmm. getting the message mm -hmm. as you are leaving the conference, like yes. I said, 
all the things you have written and it's just to expand something and to do more. Mm. I've met pastors who said, and this is the way they say it, yes. they say, before I met Bishop Doug, yes. we had 10 churches, wow. but now we have 50. Wow. Before I met Bishop, we had five branches. Mm. Now we have 23. Wow. That's how people talk. There is a change. There is a, a, a revolution. Uh, I don't know which word it is. A, um, metamorphosis. It's like you can't, you can't meet him. You can't sit under him. A transformation. A transformation and nothing happens to Not, you. Something will happen mm. to you. Yes. Mm. You are transformed. So mm. maybe for pastors who attend the conference, yes. the teaching on church planting mm. is one of the things that you know, I believe has affected them mm. very, 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 very much because yes. it's not even the direct teaching on church planting wow. because like I said, everything that mm. is taught, if it's teaching on loyalty yes. and you understand the message of loyalty, mm. that will help you to have branches mm. and churches and to expand. Yes. People are in their one church mm. and they are afraid to, to plant to another place. church and yes. put somebody, somebody there, there and mm. call him a pastor because <laughs> before you know, he has taken mm. over and like Bishop would say, he has painted over <laughs> the name the of name the, of the church, church and put a new name there. Mm. So, and people have also had mm. different experiences. Yes. So because of that, let me stay here mm. and just be in one church. But when you come and you hear even about loyalty, mm. it encourages you yes. To plant churches, All right. because now you know what to teach the people. Mm. You know what to what to instill mm. in them, so yes. that when they go out there, mm -hmm. they are not going to behave like others had behaved before, yes. or, or or you know, or you've been hearing about, which yes. makes it like a dangerous venture for you to yes. enter into. So it is mainly about expansion, All right. doing more, mm. doing greater yes. than you have done. And the way to do more mm -hmm. is to have more churches, if you are a pastor. Because mm -hmm. in your one church, you can force it to mm -hmm. grow. I remember even the way Bishop described it some time ago. He says, like, you are on a horse, mm -hmm. riding a horse. Yes. And you have to whip the horse, the horse to right. run faster. Yes. And the horse is running mm -hmm. At the first he has, he has hit the limit and you are, and and you are yes. still whipping and whipping and mm. whipping to run and he can't go any faster. Yes. Mm. That is church. So mm. your one church can grow mm. up to a certain point. But if you really want to have mm. church growth, one of the topics he teaches, he mm. teaches on church planting wow. that people can do. Mm. But you never even know they can do it mm. until Maybe you hear the word and you are encouraged mm. and you, 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 you have, you know, that leading yes. and you try people, teach them, mm. and you see that your ministry is changing. So for many of the pastors mm. I've interacted it with in different places, mm. what they talk about yes. really mm. is that we had five I branches. Just, mm before I met Bishop Doug. Yes. But since I started coming to give thyself yes. holy, now we have 45 branches, wow. 50 branches. Yes. That's all. That's what I hear mm. about pastors yes. all the time. Wow. Yes, all the time. That is so I, I believe that this is one of the most powerful mm. things you will receive yes. when you come for a give thyself holy conference because yes. it will encourage you, it will ginger you, it yes. will spare you on. You receive the anointing yes. to do more for the Lord. Yes. Wow, wow, wow. Yes. You know, Bishop, I, I'm, I'm, I'm really enjoying our conversation. <laughs> and every, um, in every way you explain something, I get something inside I would want to ask so yeah. that I would get more um, insights. This is 2020. Yes. And Give Thyself Holy 2020 is taking a different form. Yes. Because the, the world has been, I don't want to use the word visited, because coronavirus didn't re visit us. I don't think a nice visit <laughs> 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 leaves the world in such a state. Yes. Um, That's not a comfortable visit. It's not visit a comfortable visit at all. <laughs> to have. Yes. Uh, we have a pandemic, uh, and we are, I mean, the whole world has been affected. Yeah. 
so this year give thyself holy is going um online yes give thyself is taking over the airwaves radio tv and um, internet yes and i'm very sure our, our our viewers will get to know different informations as to the radio stations and then the tv stations and the different um facebook um accounts uh, accounts where they can be able to watch the the conference bishop daggy god is somebody who believes so much in transference of anointing yes that it is possible for the anointing that is on somebody yes. to come on you. Yes. And he is also somebody who believes strongly in the use of technology, like watching a video yes. or listening to a cassette. A yes. And uh, you benefiting greatly, something from it rubbing on you. Yes. So I want to ask you, um, to encourage us because uh, I believe that sometimes um, people may know that yeah when we watch a video we will we, we have an, an anointing but I would really want to ask from of, of you to, to encourage us watching why they must watch this year's conference because it is possible that we would catch something yeah as we watch is it's not only by like you say some pastors are disappointed yes that they wish they could be there physically yes and then they will receive through internet tv can we be able to receive can we receive yes yes pastor Pius. yes it's a very powerful medium yes to receive mm. You know, I went, I attended a church yes. um, outside Ghana. Yes. Big church, right. very um, well-known mm. man of God. Wow. I've seen it on television, on television. and on I was privileged to be sitting there. <laughs> wow. And admiring everything, everything. in the place. Mm. <laughs> then, mm. when it was time to preach, yes. um, one of the pastors, I mean, the one moderating the service, service. He introduced the message that okay, the, the pastor, pastor was coming to, to preach. preach. Mm. And I was all alert to see this man walk He's to the podium to, to come. Preach. And then, bam, video. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. Video is showing. So the, 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 the moderator came to introduce the man of God. And the man of God came in a video on the screen, on the screen for us sitting in wow. the church. At first, I said, oh. He didn't come. He didn't come. Yes. I thought, well, you know, I'll see him walking yes. and coming to preach. Yes. But, uh, but as he started mm. preaching, you know, I even forgot. I did not even remember that the man of it's, God is not there, not there physically. Yes. But what I'm looking at, yes. what I'm listening to is video. I forgot it completely. Mm. And... I soaked in everything and I was so blessed as though, you know, I was sitting with the man of God and he was preaching. So I'm saying this to say that it's also a certain mindset that mm. we have. Of course, it's nice to travel yes. from wherever you are mm -hmm. and come to Ghana, come to Accra, one of the nicest mm. cities um, in the world, yes. and then come to um bishop dag mm. is the various facilities that are diving yes. sometimes tours are organized, organized. you see mm. churches cathedrals yes. uh, facilities that have been built mm. for the gospel and things those who have been here before mm. i'm sure you miss the campus in anakazo, in anakazo yes. you know walking around mm. going to the prayer garden yes. and all yes. those things mm. but you're not coming here or the conference online does mm. not take anything away right. by way of the import mm. of the whole conference wow. i think the fanfare and the sightseeing is just mm -hmm. some you know side Your effect opinion. and uh, yes, side pleasure yes. that you have mm. but the real mm. thing mm. is what mm. you are receiving mm. 
into your spirit yeah. Yeah. by way of the leading, the teaching, and the eventual anointing mm. that you receive. Yes. And like you rightly said, um, Bishop teaches mm. about how you can receive the anointing mm. through listening mm. by any means. And he tells us a lot about his 1988 experience, experience. when while listening to a tape. Yes. That was playing. It wasn't even seeing mm. um, the Images. minister. There mm. was no image, image yeah. of uh, Kenneth Hagen. Yes. But just listening and praying, mm. and like you read in the books, you hear in the messages, something came out and entered into me. Mm. And a voice said, from today, mm. you can teach without even seeing mm. the man of God. Yes. And not only that, there are many people also who have um, experiences. Mm. Uh, Bishop has written a book called Catch the Anointing. Mm. When you read that book, you also see that there are people who have also narrated their experiences from just listening. listening. Mm. So this year, it is not physical attendance, mm. but you have the opportunity to listen by any of the means mm. that you have uh, mentioned. And I want to encourage everybody. Yes. Don't begin to think that anything has been taken away from the conference. Mm. I, I, re I would really wish that you repeat this. Nothing thing. has been taken away right. from the Give Thyself Holy Conference. Mm. Wow. Rather, mm. it's coming where you are. Yes. If you, maybe the last conference you came with 10 people, now you are planning and you are trying hard to raise the money to bring 25 yes. people. Mm. Now you can organize mm. 200 people wow. Wow. and have mm. the conference that is being held in Ghana yes. or how it's being held in Ghana. Yes. Mm. Have 200 people sitting mm. down and watching mm. and listening mm. and receiving the anointing wow. with you. Mm. So nothing has been taken away. Rather, I believe that it's an opportunity to, mm. opportunity to even get more of our pastors. I'm talking to pastors now. Yes. Your assistant pastors, your mm. church leaders, your uh, shepherds, your mm. deacons, yes. your whatever. Mm. To get more of them in and more people can benefit. Yes. I will say that don't even say, oh, it's on Facebook, we'll watch. Okay, so are you going to watch? Yes. Mm. Are you going to watch? Yes. No, 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 no. Mm. Organize them. Yes. Let them sit down. All right. Put it on a big screen, mm. like the big screen in the church that I attended. <laughs> yes. And follow mm. the teaching. Mm. Say amen. Yes. Get up. Mm. Clap where you have to clap. Yes. Scream where you, you have, have to scream. scream. Mm. And it will give you the feeling, mm. and actually not just a feeling, yes. but also the reality mm. of being in the conference. conference. It's like, I am in the conference. Mm. Mm. Nothing is taken away from it. Wow. And at the end of the day, you will be surprised mm. what it will do for you. Mm. I mean, I have no doubt yes. that whether it is physically attending yes. or watching online by yes. any means, television mm. or whatever, mm. God has mm. something specific yes. for you wow. for this year's conference, wow. 2020. Yes. You know, coronavirus is... Mm. Nobody wants to say it's a good person or yes. good thing that has happened. Has happened to the world, yes. But mm. it also has taught us mm. certain things we could do, mm. which we didn't know before. Mm. If you take online church. Online church. Um, I don't know, but I believe that mm. maybe Bishop will also mm. talk about how to do online church yes. so because we don't know what is coming next yes. because mm. many pastors mm. as this pandemic came mm. their churches just finish they yes. don't know where their members are church they don't know where to read them mm. they don't know what to do mm. but if you know how to do online church, church. and get your people online mm. like you know, a bishop in his preaching says that he started doing this online, yes. the prayer and things, even before. Mm. That's the prophetic part of the yes. ministry. Mm. 
Mm. So as we we're all running and doing follow up and things mm. to grow our yes. churches, <laughs> maybe, I don't know, mm. but he had foreseen something coming or something like that. So let's all do this prayer and online. do this service online. online. Don't come to the church. Yes. Online, online. Mm. And let's do it. So by the time mm. he had to do online, his mm. people were already yes. online. But mm. many of us lost it. Mm. So I believe it is also an opportunity to even learn about all this novel ways mm. of doing things mm. so as we don't know what is coming next yes. perhaps in this conference mm. you will catch certain keys yes. certain leadings mm. that whatever comes yes. you can still keep your church wow. together mm. so it's a new thing yes. and it's a helpful thing yes and don't think that you know we are just no 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 At no 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 pastor pious mm. sit down and make it mm. I'm organizing the conference here. The conference is in my church. church. In, in, you know, you know, I, I wish, I, I wish, I wish I, I will, I will take this opportunity to tell everyone watching, especially church leaders, that we have some few days to the conference. Yeah. So you have to go and get a screen and get some loud speakers. Yes. And you know, you have to now decide that you are not going to watch this alone in your house. I'm not going to watch this alone in your office. You know, Bishop Steve is giving us a very important key. Organize the conference well and um, make sure that your leaders, you know, those who have to go to work and come, they should just get some days, they should get permission. It's like you are gathering the people in your church. Everybody should be seated, you know, like a real service we are having. And there's something that, Bishop, you said, that where we have to scream, let's get everybody screaming. Where we have to stand on our feet. It's like, create that atmosphere. Yeah. So you can be able to get the same result you would have gotten if you were there physically. And even then, Bishop says, you know, nothing has changed and nothing has been taken away from give thyself. And so, I just wanted to stress on this part. That you thinking... You're going to watch it with your wife or you're going to watch it with your assistant and then the others should also fend for themselves in their homes you know if it means everybody should wear their masks and come social distance one meter everybody should be in there get everybody go and get a large screen and i'm very sure that by the end of the week the testimonies that will be flowing in your church wow bishop I've taken your words. <laughs> <laughs> That's very good. Yes. It's good when somebody yes. re echoes yes. or speaks the thing better yes. for you. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> no. Um, um, Bishop, Bishop Steve, um, we really want you to give us your, um, your closing thoughts on give thyself holy 2020 we are just about to um, um get into give thyself holy 2020 and what are your expectations um i'm very sure that somebody has just logged on on internet or somebody has just crossed somebody just tuning channels and I mean, they didn't get to hear what we just we've talked about but i believe strongly that it's on purpose yeah god wants to talk to somebody right now to get ready for this conference. So what are your closing thoughts on Give Thyself Only 2020 and why somebody who just chanced on us should be part of this year's conference? Yes. Mm -hmm. um, like I've said all through, mm -hmm. Give Thyself Only conference yes. is a conference that transforms mm -hmm. the pastor, pastor. Mm -hmm. or anybody who attends for that matter. Yes. Give Thyself Holy Conference is a conference that transforms your leaders mm. or people who are serious Christians yes. into full-grown mm. leaders. Yes. Give Thyself Holy Conference is a conference that changes you mm. to do things. Yes. Let me just say this. I was in a Give Thyself Holy Conference mm. in South Africa yes. and Bishop was teaching I felt a move mm. to do something. Wow. At the break, I called my assistant in Ghana. From South Africa. From South Africa. Called Ghana. Organize mm. 
60 people. Okay. When I come back, yes. I'm coming to organize, a, a, set up a school for them wow. and train them mm. to become mm. church planters. Wow. And after that, we'll do another system in, in the conference. In the conference. That's when I had this leading to do. So I called him. By the time I came, he had 60. Yes. I set up a school for them mm. and took them through training. Now, many of them wow. are pastors, wow. pastoring churches. Wow. So it offers you what you need mm. to be successful in the ministry. Yes. I would dare say also that many people are in the ministry mm. and they are suffering yes the thing is not working Frustrated. i meet people who mm. say i've done everything, everything i should do and it is not working, working. Mm. if you think you've done everything mm. just attend give thyself yes. holy conference mm. 2020. Wow. there's something mm. you haven't done yet mm. you'll get it from this conference yes when you add that one to what you have done yes you'll be surprised at the level you are going to reach. Wow. So if you really want to do ministry, yes. if you really mm. want to want do to ministry be and be successful in ministry, yes. this is the conference for you. Mm. Now, like I said earlier, it's being carried to your home, yes. to your church, mm. to where you are. Mm. Take full advantage yes. of it mm. because by the end of the conference, yes. your ministry will not be the same and you yourself will not be the same. That's what I'll say. Wow. And when even you are just changing channels Sometimes and you chance on, the, on it, mm. just don't go anywhere else. Stay on stay it, on it. Mm. and listen because mm. something will happen to you yes. as you listen. Mm. By the end of that week, by, the, by 28th August, yes. you are a different person. Different. I promise you that. I believe so. I'm not lying. Yes. I've experienced it. Bishop, I, I know many people who have experienced it, yes. and I know mm. you will experience it wow. too. Yes. <laughs> That's so wonderful. Bishop is inviting you this year and he says that he knows so many people who have been transformed. And this time around, it's your turn for a very serious transformation. And uh, I want to tell you that, just keep watching. We are going to have other information coming on the screen. You know, if you're in Ghana, multi-TV, live on Healing Jesus TV, if you are outside Ghana, we have um, the, 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 the setup for your um, Healing Jesus um, TV for all the different satellites. You will get every information you need to be able to get connected early in the morning, depending on the time zone in which you find yourself. You just do the calculation. 4 a.m. in Ghana, that is GMT. GMT. So if you are ahead or behind, do the calculation and make sure you sleep on time, you wake up, put everything that you need to put together and be part of this year's conference. We have two different kinds of registrations. We have the free registration. We have the $10 registration that comes with um, souvenirs, that comes with um, a certificate. And so you have to take the option that you want. Every information you need, you will see a number on the screen where um, the WhatsApp, you can be able to and send a message and register for this year's Give Thyself conference. Ladies and gentlemen, we are just rounding up, but um, for the sake of our friends on the other side, I would like to speak a little French so that you will also understand at least the information you need at the end of this program. Chers, mesdames et messieurs, j'étais ici avec l'évêque Steve de Lighthouse Chapel International le quartier général, et nous avons été bénis. Il nous a parlé de la raison pour laquelle chaque pasteur doit être à cette conférence. Cette année, la conférence est en ligne. Et pour cette raison, si vous voyez des informations, surtout, il y a un numéro de WhatsApp. Il faut envoyer, il faut écrire. Vous pouvez vous inscrire pour cette année. Et vous saurez aussi sur quelle plateforme, sur quelle Facebook page, Facebook vous pouvez regarder la conférence. La conférence sera en français. And it's going to be in several languages, Portuguese, Spanish, Amharic, um, uh, and Swahili, different languages. So wherever you are, at the comfort of your churches, your homes, your offices, you can listen to the conference this year 
in whichever language. So just keep on following. Um, go on the Facebook. You see the Facebook pages. Please go on and get every information that you need. And I believe strongly that we will have. Um, um, well, this is a preview um, interview we are having. So I'm, I'm sure we'll, after this, we will also have um, um, uh, the preview after preview is um, overview. <laughs> <laughs> and so I'm very sure that after this, we are also going to talk about our experiences and how much we have been so much blessed. Wow. Bishop Steve, I wish we could go on yeah. and continue. But um, like Bishop Saki always says, He's not out of words, <laughs> but he's out, he's out of, of time. time. And so we would really want to say thank you so much for um, having this time to spend with us. We are very grateful. Thank you for coming. And uh, um, thank you so much to our viewers for watching. We'll be coming again with another series, another episode of this preview. God bless you. Have a wonderful day and bye-bye.